Welcome to Retro Arcade Reviews. My name is John, and in this episode, we will be reviewing the arcade classic, S-Braid. S-Braid is a vertical scrolling shoot 'em up that was developed by Cave and published by Atlas in 1998. Now, if you're not familiar with Cave shooters, then let me fill you in. Cave has some of the best strike gunners out there. When you play a Cave game, you can expect fireworks. They truly define the term bullet hell, but it's just not the gameplay. Cave games have awesome artwork, soundtracks, and even their promo art is cool. They truly approach their games as a production, and S-Braid is no exception. This game is great. I randomly ran into this game on Ming and played it just out of curiosity. I was surprised that I've never heard of the game given how cool the game is. The reason is that the game never had a stateside release, nor was it ported over to any home consoles because of publishing rights with Atlas, which is a shame because I would have loved to give this game a go in the arcades. In my opinion, it's always better just to experience the original arcade game rather than emulators because sometimes there are some slight differences. In this game, you have to defend a futuristic Tokyo from an army of espers led by Gara Ono and the Yakuza. Corporation. You can choose from three different characters, each with the ability to fly and each having their own unique extrasensory power, a bomb attack, and a protective aura that will cost you psychic energy, so use it sparingly. S-Braid is a departure from your usual strike gunner because when you play these kind of games, you always assume the role of a pilot taking control of a jet or a spacecraft doing battle against an armada of other crafts or vehicles of exaggerated size and number over cities, military installations, space, etc. In this game, however, you battle your usual assortment of enemy crafts and vehicles, as well as your unusual sort like psychics, robots, and these weird doll looking clones over parks, schoolyards, and malls. So it's pretty unique for the genre. The game has five stages. Each character has a specific starting stage, followed by two random stages and two final stages before you take on Ono. And get ready for that because that last fight's bananas. The only downside is the game is too short. You're gonna fly through the game, and since you can revive right on the spot, it makes the game way easy. However, the game is fun to play and even though you're playing via an emulator, the game doesn't feel repetitive, especially if you're a score whore. S-Raid had two spiritual prequels, Escaludo 1 and 2. Escaludo 1 was ported over to the PS2, and Escaludo 2 was ported over to the Xbox 360. But as mentioned earlier, S-Raid was never ported to any system or never had a stateside release. The only way to play this game is through an emulator, and if you can, I would highly recommend it because the game is super cool. So play the game, and let me know what you think.